Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gamba Red, and today we're going to take a look at the most popular red light therapy panel you can find on AliExpress. Now this is the AG Plus 1485 5S model. I got it for about $500 on AliExpress, and that includes the shipping costs. So that's a really good price for a panel that's about three feet tall, 10 and a half inches wide. So it's very tall, very wide, kind of like a standard full body panel, like a Juve Solo kind of height, but a little bit wider. And it's got five wavelengths, even though it's mostly 660 and 850, but kind of like how Platinum LED does, they do a small percentage of the other wavelengths for marketing reasons. So it does contain all five wavelengths. We can verify that at the end, uh, but it's got, you know, kind of that nice mix that everyone wants. Now, just taking a quick look at the panel, other than being uh, nice and tall and wide, uh, it does have the socket up at the top, which is kind of annoying because usually your outlet is closer to the ground, so it doesn't make sense to put the socket up at the top. It's got a kill switch up there at the top as well, and it does have a little control panel on the side that's very simple. So let's take a look at that. It's a very simple control, just red and near and fred, and then uh, you can increment the timer. So we can just press red, and near and fred, and we confirm we've got both indicators, lights are on, so it should be running normally. Okay, we can see all the lights, all the red lights are on. Obviously, the invisible bulbs are the near infrared ones. And the, you can see the kind of orange bulbs, that's the 630 bulbs. They make kind of a weird kind of S pattern throughout it. But like I said, it's a smaller percentage. Uh, it's not equally split with the 660. There's still more 660. Uh, like I said, the similar patterns probably with the 850. And then there's two other lesser near infrared bulbs as well. Okay, let's go through the measurements. First, let's check the consumed watts on the kilowatt meter. Okay, it's 431 watts. That's how much it's consuming in the electrical power. And honestly, that's a lot. That's almost double like what our Gimba Red Reboot does and what uh, a Juve Solo would do. So it's, it's a lot of power crammed into a, a standard kind of body light size. And so that's why we're going to do our first measurement at 12 inches away because it's so powerful that we don't need to be only 6 inches away. We can start at 12 inches. And we can see the milligauss is less than half a milligauss, so it's very low EMF, especially at 12 inches away. And, you know, there's nothing to worry about. If we move it closer to about 6 inches, we do get up to about, you know, one, one and a half milligauss. So even at you know, six inches away or so, it's only one milligauss, so it's really not that bad. And, you know, again, we can raise it and look for hot spots, but it's not really any big jumps. It jumps up to two, but I'm at about five inches now. So, yeah, so it's really low, even at six inches, but because uh, the intensity is so high, we probably want to be much further away, and the EMS will be negligible because you're so far away. All right, let's look at flicker, and the flicker is also less than 1%, less than a half a percent. So it's very, very low flicker, and that's, that's excellent according to my book. So we'll do our intensity measurement at 12 inches away. We centered it in line with the panel here. And I'll just lift it up because there's too much glare. So we got 59 milliwatts per centimeter squared. That's a ton of power. It's going to be kind of a heating lamp, more so than a photobiomodulation device. So you got to increase your distance so you don't feel too much heat. And, you know, we see a couple different peaks. We see the two different red peaks. And then, you know, all the near infrareds kind of get matched together because it's a lower percentage of the other two wavelengths there. All right, let's do one more intensity measurement at... 24 inches away, two feet away, and see if we can get a safer intensity at this distance. And so we still get 49, so that's still on the upper limit of kind of being a heat lamp. Uh, but, you know, at least kind of start about two feet away if it's your first time uh, using something like this, so that way it's not too much of a heating effect and you want that healing photobiomodulation. Now let's see if we can identify each of the wavelengths. Obviously we can find the red. And it tells us the peak is 661, so that's that's pretty easy. The 660 is a 
pretty much dead on. And then here's the orange one, that should be 630. And yep, that's 631. Now let's try to find all the near-infrared bulbs, which will be tough. Let's try this one. And that's the 850, so there's going to be a lot of 850s, so we're kind of trying to find a needle in a haystack. So 830, so that so we confirm we found the 830 and we found an 850, so now we got to find an 810. So that's the 810, so, you know, it shows up as 812, so everything's, a, you know, one or two nanometers high, but that's, that's pretty normal. Um, so yeah, so we found all three near-infrared wavelengths, and we found the two red wavelengths, so we confirm we've got all five wavelengths in here somewhere. And so that's our review of the AG Plus 1485 5S from AliExpress. It's super high power, it's low emf low flicker and uh you know the only qualm is having the plug up here at the top that's a little annoying especially because they give you a short power cord so you can always buy a replacement power cord that's longer but otherwise it's a great way to start just make sure you're about two or three feet away especially if it's your first time and you want to see how your body responds to such high intensities make sure you use it safe and responsibly uh, but otherwise it could be a good deal all right well thanks for tuning in